Welcome to our tutorial about putting data into variables. In order to put data in our variables, we use what are called assigned statements. These are program statements that put data into controls, variables, or other objects. When we declare variables, this variable holds a value of zero. Here we use the following assigned statement. Length equals 15. In other words, we've inserted the value of 15 into the variable int length. And here we've put the value of 53.76 in the sng price variable. The data of expression must match the data type of the variable to which it is assigned. In other words, the statement I'm typing now, if I type in the word 15 instead of the number 15, it will be invalid because my data type is an integer. That's because int length is an integer type of variable, so we can't assign a string value to it. We can also assign variables to other variables. For example, int length equals 15. SNG price equals int length, which effectively equals 15. Another origin of data is the property of the control. Let's say we've got a text box. TXT box. And a property of this box. Text. Now, when a user inputs, oops, let's go back and change my typo. Okay, when a user inputs data into the text box and clicks OK, this value will be assigned to the variable int length. The same is true in the opposite direction as well. Now, when this code is complete, both the int length variable and the property text of the control box txt box will have values of 15. And this concludes our tutorial about putting data in variables.